Hey everyone, I'm Nick and this is C++ Data Structures. So let's talk about merge sort today. So merge sort is another sorting algorithm and it's what we call a divide and conquer sort, uh, algorithm. And what divide and conquer means is we'll take some larger problems such as sorting a list and we'll break it down to easier problems like sorting sublists. So in this case, the way merge sort works is we'll start out with say a size in sublist and then we'll divide that by two and then we'll have two in, by, uh, in divided by two sublists to sort and then we'll keep doing that until we get to the very bottom where we only have a single element to sort and while a single element is trivially easy it's just it's already sorted and then what we do is we work our way back up by calling uh, or by doing merges so we'll we'll merge two individual nodes we'll put them in the right order and then all of a sudden we have a sublist of size 2 that's completely sorted and then our problem goes from sorting uh, an entire vector to uh, sorting to already sorted sublists. And so let's jump into the code and see how we do that because that'll work its way all the way back up this tree that we make. So it's a tree because uh, it'll, you know, if you're compared to like a normal tree, like you see in real life, it's upside down. But basically the way it works, so we start at the very uh, top, which we call the root. So it'll be a single node, which will be our original uh, vector and it'll split in two, and then each of those nodes will split in two, and we'll keep splitting until we get to just a single child at the very bottom. Okay, so let's look at merge sort.cpp. So uh, we have this init, we have a couple helper functions such as initializing a vector within elements that are all random. So we use rand, and then some stuff for printing, but let's get to the, the interesting stuff. So we have this recursive function called merge sort uh, that calls it uh, it's recursive because it calls itself just as a quick refresher and this is the function that actually does the splitting and creates this tree for us so what it does is it takes a vector and then a left uh, a left index and a right index and that's just the position uh, within this vector that we're going to be splitting right so we're going to split that in half which is what we do right here so we add the left and the right together and divide it by two to find the midpoint and then what we do is we call, uh, uh, this is the, that's the divide part, right? So we call uh, merge sort on the left sublist, and then we call merge sort on the right sublist. And then eventually we'll merge those together. But these may call multiple times, right? So if we say have an input of size eight, this will call a merge sort on uh, two size four vectors. And then those in turn will call uh, merge sort on you know size two vectors and then on size one vectors before finally uh, those size one vectors will get merged together. So merge, this merge sort function is fairly simple. All it does is it splits uh, the nodes in two. If there's more than uh, two nodes, you of course can't split a single node, which is what this if statement takes care of. And then it calls merge on those sorted ones that it uh, that it gets back after calling merge sort. Okay, so how do we merge nodes back together? So once we have nodes that are sorted, right? So we have these individual nodes at the very bottom, how do we put them back together? And then how do we put uh, in sorted sublists back together? So it all starts here. And what we do is we, uh, we pass merge a vector, which is our original vector. And then we pass it the start point, the middle point and the end point. So it's going to contain two sublists that are already sorted. So say, uh, you know, if we're talking about a single element, maybe uh, maybe we're talking about the very, very left-hand side of the tree and we're, you know, merging together elements zero and one, right? So element zero is sorted by itself. Element one is sorted by itself. And so we'll uh, merge those two uh, together. And so we won't sort it in place. If we sort it in place, that means we're just going to keep one vector, uh, which is good for saving memory, but you know, we've got a lot of memory. We don't need to worry about saving memory in this case. Uh, also, that would require us to shift all the elements over. So we'll just take out the left-hand sublist and temp left, and we'll take out the right-hand sublist and temp right. And then what we'll do is we'll take these two sublists and We'll go over them, comparing each element side by side and figuring out which one is the least, right? So if uh, the left-hand side is the least, we'll put that back into our original vector in the right spot. 
If the right hand side, if the right hand sublist is the least, we'll take from temp right. And the nice thing is, say maybe you know maybe the left hand sublist, maybe all of those elements were less than the right hand sublist. So what would happen is we dump everything from the left hand sublist in here. So then we have to do some cleanup, and this will just put the remaining elements in whatever sublist wasn't emptied into the right spot, right? And because those sublists are already sorted, we don't need to do any comparisons. We just need to iterate over uh, the remaining of temp right or the remaining of temp left and dump them into the, uh, yeah, and just dump them into the original vector in the right spot, right? And then this will return and we'll just print out the range. So let's see how this works. So now we know that, you know, we've got this merge sort function which splits things and we have this merge function that puts them back together. So let's see it in practice. So we'll call G++ dash O on merge sort. And let's see our example. So this is going to be uh, an eight. We'll start with an original vector that's eight elements. So the first thing we do is we call merge sort on our original eight element vector. And that splits it into something of size. Uh, so we take this zero through seven and then we split it into a zero through three. So that's the left-hand side of this tree. And then we basically just walk down the entire left-hand side. So zero and three turns into uh, the left-hand side of that is a zero one. Uh, so the left two nodes, so this is four total elements from zero to three. The left-hand side is a sublist of two elements, zero and one. And then we eventually get to the very bottom of the tree, which is a single node. So the left-hand side of zero, 01 is zero, 00, and then we start doing the right-hand side. So at the very bottom, when we start merging, that's when we go to the right-hand side. So we've got zero, 00 and zero and 11, one. and then we merge, right? So we merge zero, 00 and 11 one together, and so that'll be 83 and 86, and it turns out those are already in order. So we can just merge them directly, right? And then we've got 83, 86 sorted. So then we move on to the right-hand side of zero, uh, zero and three, All right? So we did zero, one right here, and we kept following down the left-hand side. So now we go through the right-hand side because we've already done everything we can do on the left-hand side. So two, three goes to two nodes, the left-hand side, which is two, two, then the right-hand side, which is three, three. And then we merge uh, two, three at that node. And so that'll be 77 and 15. And so we'll have to uh, reshuffle those around so that it, go, it turns into 1577. And so that will be our uh, sorted sublist there. So now we've sorted this sublist, 8386. We've sorted this sublist that was originally 77 and 15. So now we need to merge both of these sublists. So we call merge for 0 through 3. OK. So then we take our input of 8386 and then 1577. Those are our two sorted sublists. And we merge them into one larger sorted sublist that contains all of those elements. So then that's the entire left-hand side of the vector sorted. So like I said, we start at the very, very left of the subtree going down and down and down until there's no more space. And then we start filling in the right-hand side. And so once we get to this point right here, we've done the entire left hand of the original vector, which is this originally 83, 86, 77, 15. So then we need to do the right hand side. So the right hand four elements. So these are going to be elements four through seven. Then we're going to take the left hand side of that. So we always default to the left hand side and then we fill in the right hand side. So then that's going to be uh, 4 through 5 is the left hand side of 4 through 7. Then 4, 4 is the left hand side of 4 through 5. And then we're done there. So we need to start uh, filling in the right hand side. So the right hand side here is uh, of 4, 5 is element 5, 5. Right? So now we're merging together the fourth and the fifth element of the vector. Okay? So that's what we do here. We call merge for start equals four and equals five, which are which are uh, 93 and 35. So then we merge them together and it turns into 35 and 93. So now we have a sorted sublist of size two that's sorted. Um, 
Okay, then we go through uh, we go through the right hand side of four through seven because the left hand side is sorted now. And so six and seven turns into a left hand side of six six and a right hand side of seven seven. And then we, of course we merge those because remember this this is our, our base case, right? So we can't split a single element anymore. So then we start working our way back up. So we merge together 86 and 92 and we get a sorted sublist 86, 92. Then what we do because we've sorted four through five and we've sorted six through seven, we merge four through seven. So we merge all those elements together. So we merge the sublist 3593 and the sublist 8692, and we get this final one, 3586-9293, right? And so now the only thing left to do is merge the two sublists that we have left, which is the right-hand side four elements with the sorted left-hand side four elements. So we have one final merge that's over the entire vector, which is from start equals zero to end equals seven. So we've worked our way all the way back up to that root, that parent node. And then, so we start here and then we end up finishing with 15, 35, 77, 83, 86, 86, 92, 93. So we've sorted this, so we've sorted the entire list. So we go ahead and just exit. Okay, so that's it. That's merge sort. Uh, it's a recursive algorithm where we, it's, uh, it's a recursive uh, it's got a recursive function in it, and it's this divide and conquer algorithm. So we take, you know, the more complicated problem of, you know, sorting a, a long vector, and we break it down into really, really simple cases of just, you know, sorting individual elements, and then we build off of that. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. As always, feel free to go to github.com slash coffee before arch where all this code is hosted. So we looked at C++ data structures, and then in algorithms, and merge sort. We've got the code that we used here today, so feel free to download this, play around with it, and please ask any questions you need to in order to clarify anything. All right, and then of course, over here is my email if you have any further questions or maybe there's a specific topic you want covered. And then here's links to all the previous videos and all the code used in those videos. So as always, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and I hope you have a nice day.